Well, we can get started and then if she is able to join us. Yes. I will, before I forget, Eileen, I wanted to give you Stephanie South's email. Okay, because yep. you, you asked for that. And it's just SG South at rcn.com. Remind me what this is for. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... This, these are the, you said that you had to give the email addresses to Amy Couture so that she can do a special registration for the speakers. That was one of the emails that I saw today. I don't think it came from me, but I can certainly give oh. it to Amy. That's fine. Yeah, I think I Amy had asked for it. Okay. Okay. She asked for the email. Yeah. Okay. And I know you're coordinating with her, so I thought I'd give you Stephanie's. And Great. you have Teresa. And um, you have others to share, Maria, either to email to Eileen or um, tell her right now. <laughs> so Sherry, I feel like there's so many emails out there that at this point I'm struggling to keep track of it all. So would you mind giving us a recap of like where we actually are in the greater world of like what I can do and what where we need to like pick things up? I feel like I'm struggling to keep track. Well, I've taken care of the promotions and there's a lot out there already. We're on digital boards, we're in the kiosk. It just so happens that some of the things aged out of the kiosk today. And so I sent a poster over and it went up. So, we're, and I already sent stuff to the library and you know, I sent a lot of press releases and things like that. Um, the next set of press releases should be announcing the actual panelist. And, you know, the first one was actually telling people what International Women's Day is. And then the second one, I thought we would talk about who is going to be part of the panel um, and a little bit more about what we're hoping um, people will, will learn from hearing from these, this wonderful group of women. Um, the only, let's see, so we're going to be doing it webinar style, which means that participants will not be seen or heard, but they can write in chat. And um, I don't know, I, I guess it would be Maureen's job to check the chat out, chat out, or I might she's... suggest that one of us do it. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I've done it for work, so I'm happy to volunteer if you'd like okay. me to do it, or Sherry, if you want, or Maria, or whomever. If you've um, done it already, go go yeah. for it. I'm fine with that if you if you are. And okay. honestly, it's just like, I mean, I don't even think I think there's a way for us to do it where the chat isn't public. Right. Um, which mm -hmm. I think is the best way. And then I'll just keep track of the questions on the chat. Mm -hmm. And then if we do a Q and A at the very end, I can prompt them. Okay. Um, I'm happy to do that if you'd like. Okay. As long as you know how to get into the chat because all of us who are participating, um, we're not the administrators. Yeah, so we would be- I didn't know how it works. Yeah. I'd like to learn how to do that anyway. So I'm gonna pick your brains on that one and find out for future reference. And how maybe you get into we it. do like a dry run with Amy and it's just like the three of us and Amy and maybe Maureen and that's it <laughs> for the you last, know what I mean? The last meeting, Amy asked that we all, um, the speakers, all of us get together a full hour prior including the panelists to make sure that everyone has their speakers and, the, and they have everything set up properly and they're not confused about how to do things. Perfect. So, so we, so at six rather than at seven, um, everyone will be getting together. And I assume, God, I guess all of us don't need to be there because um, we don't have an, like you, Marie and I don't have an active role. We'll just be, watching this program. Uh, so, and with, so again, I'll write in the notes because I keep on sending, I try to keep sending minutes that summarize everything, but yeah, there is a lot of email and I'm also communicating with the library and Jen McDonald at town hall and things like that. And so I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something. Um, I feel like I've definitely missed something. <laughs> so thank you for all of that. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Well, if you're not, you're not using Gmail, correct? You're using I'm, something other than I'm Gmail? I'm using Outlook, yeah. Outlook. Set up a rule in Outlook that if anything comes through with International Women's Day, 
in the subject area or AWD in the subject area of the body, that it goes to a separate mailbox and that way you'll be able to hold. That's the yeah. thing about Outlook that's terrific. I'm using Google for my personal email, but I use Outlook for business. It's far better in terms of keeping yourself organized. Yeah. So that's you great. might might want to try that, you know, for other things going forward that you, for a particular event. Um, yeah. It makes okay, it a lot helpful. easier. Makes it a lot easier. Um, um, and of course, I'm not working full time. So it's, you know, easier for me to try to keep on top of things anyway. You know, I'm only a part timer now, which is great. Um, <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> well, um, you know, I've been working how many years? I've been working for. <laughs> since I was 16 years old and that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, moving okay. ahead. So that's helpful. And then I even saw your email about the questions. I thought they were great. Well, I was listening to what everyone was saying and I thought, okay, to make this meeting shorter today, I would, because I had time, I would write them down and then we can tweak them and change them and add to them. It was just, I wanted, I was hoping we'd have a starting point. And I'm wondering if I can share my screen because I have them right in front of me. Um, um, I'm not, let me see if I can make you a co-host just a sec. Okay. Uh, yes, you are a co-host now, so you should be able to share your screen. Okay, let me see. Um, I got to go to full screen first in order to do this, right? Uh, you don't have to. I think it automatically goes to full screen. You don't have to. Well, I'm going to exit full screen. Do you see my screen? Nope. No, I was thinking I, hmm. how do I make it share more? Ah, there we go, share screen. Okay. Okay, here it is. Great. There's the list. Okay, and we can, you know, work on it. This will make it much easier because we have something to start with. Just to um, really quickly close the loop on the email addresses, I will reach out to the panelists. I don't have any of their email addresses. I'm in, in connection with them over Facebook or um, by phone. So um, I will get their email addresses and send them. Okay. Um, Eileen, do you have Marines? I, I bet I do. I'm sure of it. Okay. Um, and so you're going yes, to get it from uh, Sarah team. Um, did you ever find out Summer's last name? <laughs> yes, it's, uh, hold on just a second. Yeah, and I think we should probably exchange email addresses after the meeting, just to not advertise people's email addresses. Right. Uh, okay. uh, but I can tell you Summer's last name just a second. Um, it's Alatal, A-L hyphen A-T-T-A-L. Is it a capital A in the Atal part? Yes. Okay, because okay, I'm going to need everyone's names. Um, and I know their family countries of origin for the next round of press releases. Yep. Um, I wanted to have send things to you, all of you to approve beforehand, but when I got the message from Jen McDonald today that they were ch literally changing the posters in the kiosk and on the, I said, oh my God, I got to do something fast. Um, but I will, I can send you guys copies of the graphics or you can see them in the kiosk. And I, uh, it's a different, different format in the kiosk, they're longer. Um, the library, I had, to, I had to change it up a bit. Okay, so now, and so Eileen, you have Marie's and Teresa's. I've given you Stephanie's. Um, Maria's, and I'm trying to remember the name of a, a woman from China. I can't remember it right now. Um, since, uh, oh my God. <laughs> I know. Cindy. Yeah, okay. I was like, Cindy, Cynthia. <laughs> All of a sudden, I couldn't okay. remember. Okay. Yep, Cindy. Okay, so I'm just writing a note that you'll get those three. Um, and I'll take, I can, no one's seeing, is it, oh yeah, people are seeing the screen. I'm going to take that off the screen. Okay. Um, and okay. 
So let's work on some questions. I think. Um, Can you remind me what Saratine's last name is? Uh, Rizzuto. Thank you. Yep. Um, I run one hour before start on all. Okay, because we need to tell all of them. And I am assuming that Amy Couture will probably give them instructions on how to log in because she's going to be sending them a different link than, she, than we're going to send to the people who are registering. And the library is taking care of all the registration for us. That is fantastic. They'll even send out the notification at and they won't send it out to four o'clock that afternoon. That's the only thing I'm a little uncomfortable with, that it's so, so close to the actual start time. But they might, I think they do that to maximize attendance and also to reduce the possibility that someone is going to distribute that link to someone who shouldn't have it. Right. You know, I don't know if, if that's it, but that's the only thing I can think of. That sounds right. And everything is live. People can register now. It's all live. Okay. I'm just typing notes. You can start talking about yep. this. I just don't want to forget. Um. So I'd, I, I definitely liked the questions and I would maybe start, I would maybe start with number three. It's, I feel like it's more mm. po like positive or uplifting. Um, I think number one is a good question. I just, I, I, I wouldn't want to start with it. It sounds, there's like a, a little bit of a negative connotation or not negative, but um, I don't know. I'm, it, yeah, I, I can't think of another word, but <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just, I, I up, just, right. Yeah, that was the first one I remembered all of you talking about. That's why it ended up number one. Yep. There's no particular order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, although I think number six is a good way to end. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. And how about in the middle? And, and, we, and are six questions probably enough in an hour with five panelists? I, I mean, if we want to leave time for the audience to ask questions at the end, yes. Um, I mean, just in in previous um, events like these, I mean, the, once the conversation go starts going, if people are really comfortable, mm -hmm. it's just like it becomes a very organic thing. Um, and Mayreen is very good at reading the crowd and figuring out, um, you know, I, I, I'm comfortable if you guys are, you know, once we have the questions finalized, sending those to her and saying, you know. Oh, yeah. if, if if there's a particular vibe that it doesn't make sense to go on to the next question, you want to skip it or something like that, I'm okay with letting her kind of take the um, take the 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 lead on that. I think she'll be great with yeah. follow up questions too. You know, yes. if someone will say something and she'll ask for a clarification or a little mm -hmm. bit more detail. I yep. think, yeah, definitely all of these go to Marie because then we we won't send them to our panelist until she is comfortable with them as well. Right. Um, so do you saying that this one here should be number two or something come before that? Um, and I, you know, I, here's my old anthropology course lingo in number three you know, matriarchal versus patriarchal, like, because I thought that that played into the break the bias because they might have come from a society in which the women in a family had a lot of authority and power and they show up in the United States. And this is a still a very patriarchal society. I mean, in our own homes, we try very much to make them more gender equal in every way, but 
you know, in fact, we were talking about that over dinner about um, women's sports because we had just heard that this women's soccer are going to have pay equity for the World Cup. And we started talking about the other sports and my husband said, you know, why these, you know, some of these sports, the female sports are better than the male sports. Why aren't they getting it? And I said, that's because we live in a very patriarchal society and it's the men who have the power and they're holding on to it. And the money. So I didn't know if that was a good question or not. I just, I was thinking in terms of how it might be different than here than what the river came from. Well, and maybe we open the question up a little more just in the way that you just articulated. Um, okay in saying in what ways um, depend, uh, I'm trying to think the best way to phrase it, like. What if it's about like the family structure being different here than in the United States versus like the matriarchy and patriarchy? Like I like the idea of it. Instead of culture, way, use the word structure. Yeah, so like in what ways does your family's cultural structure tend to be different, you know, from your originating country versus the US or something like that? Um, okay. I think I'm trying to, I, I like the idea, Sherry, of like matriarchy versus patriarchy, but there's some like, there's a little bit of like an, an it feels a little negative to me and I don't, I, I don't know why. Well, we're I trying understand to, what you're trying bias, to do, yeah. right? Like, you know, if you in, in the country that you came from, if you were sort of the head of the family and then you came to the United States and that, mm -hmm. you know that wasn't what was happening here and how did you sort of handle that, right? Yes. Maybe Maureen can give us some help with that. But Maria, what were you thinking? I think I cut you off by mistake, I'm mm. sorry. Oh, no, 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 you didn't. Um, no, I think it, may, it might just be the, the wording of the question, it seems like it's an either, that we're assuming that it's going to be an either or, and mm -hmm. it doesn't, there are cultures where it's not. Um, That's why I put intend to be. Right. Because yeah. it's not, you know, it, it, it can shift, although in some households, it's, it's very obvious what it is. Mm -hmm. Did any, do any of the panelists, when they came here, did they come over on their own or did they come with their family? I just don't know. Well, that's going to be, oh, okay. This, this is the, okay, this fits up here. Um, and, Under what circumstances? Yes, and that's um, this is where it might come in. Under what circumstances would you come to the US? Um, or under conditions, circumstances, I don't know if circumstances is the right word, right word. Or maybe just say why. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's leave it, Why did let's you leave it under what circumstances. And then in parentheses, I would just say, and this can be just a note, like when we send these to, um, to the panelists, just for mm -hmm. them to understand that they can share as much or as little detail as they mm -hmm. want to, because if someone came here under, like if they were in a SILE or something like that, and there are traumatic details that they don't want to share, we don't expect them to have to share that. Right. Yeah. And this is just sort of an IE, right? It's not. Right. 
Okay. Okay, what, so do we have the first three? Is this an order that you think is appropriate? I love this one. I don't remember which one of you said this, but I absolutely love this, this whole idea of leaving behind because it's not just, you leave a, a lot more than things. And some people you leave their home, a physical home that's been in your family for generations, but other people, you leave this whole sense of belonging to a place. Um, There's also instances where people come here with, you know, master's degrees and doctorates from other countries and essentially mm -hmm. have to start from scratch. Um, oh, yeah. So the idea of like, what did you or your family leave behind? Yeah. Have I, to had, give up? I love that. Yeah, I had a roommate, one of the first summers I, I graduated from college, her family came from China and her mother was a physician in China. And in the United States, she opened a Chinese restaurant. She could never practice medicine. Her English never was good enough for her to get through medical school and she needed to support her family. So they opened a Chinese restaurant. In an upstate New York town that had one. So it was very entrepreneurial, um, but she never got to practice medicine again. That's really something to leave behind a career right there. Amazing. Yeah. So this one again, um, <laughs> the note on this is like, um, how can we wear this bed and we're in, right? Right. Okay. Could it just be simply like, define, you know, or, or, you know, can you describe your family structure and how it might differ from expectations of family in the United States or something like that? Oh, that sounds good. Describe. I have to tell you, the way I'm working on the Surface Pro, my keyboard is like way up here <laughs> and it's tiny. <laughs> Is it AFF reflected or AFF? AFF. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the, the way to go. I like and these, that. And these two can just be those sort of like ancillary things mm. like we had on the other one. I don't know, is the word the leader is or the dominant person or who's really the head of the family? <laughs> I guess that's it. It's like who um, shifts in. Um... Should it be shifts in who is viewed as the head of the household? Great. Mm. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of stuff in parentheses. That clarifies it. I think it's better. Much better. Thank you. The next one is pretty straightforward, but um, did we already get to that one? Well, actually, no, maybe this is a little different, the challenges, because that's where I think maybe we might learn some of the biases. 
that they, they might have faced? I think this could be, this answer is so broad, right? Mm -hmm. Like it could be so many different things. Mm -hmm. Do we want her to give examples of what kind of challenges there might've been? Do we want to push them in a certain direction or do you feel like it's okay that it's, I mean, it could be anything like it could be diet. It could be language. the way you interact with people. It could be language. It could be mm -hmm. work related. It's so many different things. So if, she, if they need some prompts, I mean, yeah. these are like prompts. Yeah. Okay. Because the next one is directly about bias that might be for how you look. Right. Yeah. And for that question, for number five, um, I think it doesn't need to be a long intro, but like tying in the theme and saying, you know, the, for International Women's Day this year, the theme is breaking the bias. Um, and and then kind of go into the question from that. Okay. And actually, shouldn't that be in the beginning? Shouldn't there be some kind of introduction at the very, very beginning by Maureen about what internet, I mean, I already wrote it up because I right. wrote it in a press release, what International Women's Day is, what it's, why it's celebrated. Um, can we also do the um, land acknowledgement? It's not, it hasn't been fully approved yet because they haven't, you haven't um, brought it before any of the people. We've done it the with the MCNAA. I think the only other group um, is the Massachusetts like, to give their final approval. If we get final approval before sure. March 9th, is that something that we could add in there? We can. It is February. I think there's a good chance so we'll it'll be see. approved by then. We'll, we'll see. We were going to have three other people weigh in even after that too, so maybe not. Maybe you put like a little, little asterisk there of Benny and I can get our butts in gear to get those approved. <laughs> that will be the butt in gear note. That's okay. fine. <laughs> okay. um, so she's. I'll send Maureen the background. It's just a few sentences. Um, background. Okay, and then you know we could on this last this number five actually say. Did you have to break any biases? Did you? Do we want to use that terminology? Mm -hmm. What should we bias did you break? Did you or other women in your family? Um, something like that. Oh, oh, actually, have you or other women in your family experienced bias directed at your appearance or background or a cultural practice? How did you break those biases? Biases? Yes, biases. Okay. <laughs> like bias well, D? Bias, bias, bias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like media and medium and um it's actually biases there we go <laughs> yeah <laughs> and maybe they didn't break them that's why i didn't put break in there that's why i said how did you deal with but deal with is such a it's too colloquial um it feels like wouldn't it be great if there was something in here to say like what could we be doing to help break the bias like outside of the panel there like what 
people that have been born in the United States, you know, what could we be doing to help international, you know, immigrants break the bias, something like that. And that is something to be open to the audience. Yeah. Ask them to put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. You know, give people a few minutes. Immigrate to the United States. Uh-huh. I don't I have a question. This would be a great wrap-up. You know? Well, even when I even in um, when people register and they send them the link, we can we can if you want this this question go out in advance to get people to think about it. I mean that's not a bad idea. I like that. I mean, I certainly will, I could put it in a press release, but I'm wondering if we can somehow or another integrate it into uh, the Zoom link that goes out. Yeah, we can certainly yeah. see. I don't know. Um, is the link coming from the yeah. I don't know if it if it can be done, but it's worth checking. Well, the library has been Jackie has done all kinds of things, which is great. I mean, I, I think when they sent, when I know that when I've sent out Zoom links to people, I always put in additional instructions and text if it's a you know meeting that they have to have. So I think they probably, um, okay. I mean, Maureen could even bring this up at the beginning too, mm -hmm. right? Like, yep. Introduction, introducing the panel. You know, and even ask those attending, like what, you know, when we get to the end of this, I think we're going to open it up so everyone can ask questions and and have her ask that question specifically. Okay, so we can do it in several different places and oops, oh no. I was gonna say there's gotta be an undo. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> undo, oh, undo. Oh my god. Well, that's the other thing with this tiny keyboard. Everything is so close together. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what we have so far is if approved, we'll start with and who would read this statement? I think Maureen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll send you this. Um, I'll provide this. This, like, like I said, I already have it written. Um, and then we'll. I'll explain to her about this. That we we'll, we included in press releases on the registration. Um, confirmation um, that people, we we're asking people to think about this and be prepared to share. And so we're looking for solutions. That would have ended on a very, I think a really good positive note. And maybe I'm also gonna put in a big pitch to try to get moms to bring their kids because I, I love the, the kids' questions. And the kids are very tuned into this kind of thing. They really are. I mean, you have 
both of you have kids. And so you know that they think about this kind of stuff. And it's an anathema to most of them that people just aren't kind to each other. So is this ready to be shared with Marie? Feels like it. Yeah, I think it looks good. Okay. Okay, I will contact Marie tomorrow mm -hmm. um, about this. And I'll fill her in on this kind of stuff. Because it would be really good to get um, people who attend this not to feel so passive, that they really are part of the solution of helping. Okay, and the, oh, I don't have it right here, unfortunately. That's the other thing. My, when I work on the Surface Pro, that's where my camera is. So I can't even get into my other files that have other things. Although, I, what I did was I quoted a lot selectively from the um, IWD website. Um, I used also the logo and that color purple because that's their color. But I also found this wonderful, colorful graphic. And I asked for permission, I never heard back and it didn't even say, you know, specifically permission was needed that has a multitude of different types of women. Mm -hmm. And you'll you'll see it if you see the the town materials, um, because I also made a flyer that'll be on display in the library. So, and I hope they'll get it up on their digital board. But I'll I'll send it to you as well. And I I hope you you like that particular graphic. It was the most colorful one I could find. That was the most inclusive. Mm -hmm. It had the greatest variety of faces. Um, some of the other ones look too, they might have had three faces and they were so stereotyped. Oh, um, sure. Yeah. I mean, it just was too stereotyped for what a woman would look like who identified in a certain way. So, so I thought this was, you know, a better graphic. And it is very colorful. And the whole thing, the whole flyer is purple anyway. It's got a purple background, really light like purple. Um, Love it. Yeah, it, it had to be colorful because I had to do it like in 10 minutes because <laughs> I knew the guys were going out to the kiosk and I had to do it right away. <laughs> okay. Thanks for doing that, Sherry. Well, that, you know, it gets my- No pressure, but flowing. right now, right? <laughs> uh, I, I like doing that. In fact, I, I was asked, um, Jen McDonald asked me about MLK because she hadn't received anything. And honestly, I haven't even- it's posted. It's up. Where? Um, I, I, I know it's been, I haven't watched it yet, but I know that it was posted to our Facebook page either the, in the past day or two. That's it? That's not how you get an audience around here. It's, you know, you got to like send it out. I mean, I, I wrote for Patch, I put a calendar link in, but I also wrote an article so it looks like neighborhood news. Mm -hmm. so that people might pay more attention. You got to do more because people otherwise won't come for all the hard work that everyone does. And I know they did so much work for that MLK day. Was I don't even know when, was it yesterday, today? It was, I thought it was sometime this week. It was either yesterday or the day before. Okay. Well, maybe a lot of people will catch it, including myself, when it was, the link is available. I think the tricky part, right, is that change, right? The plan was originally to do it in person and then mm -hmm than working with WCAT to get it done. So, I mean, maybe between the three of us, we can sort of share it out there um, when we go out to Facebook to see it, to, to make sure that it gets seen. Um, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so, but I mean, it, I didn't see it on at all on the patch. They didn't put an announcement on patch, which goes to a lot of people. Mm, I don't know. Um, and, you know, that, that I, 
And like I said, I didn't notice it, and maybe I missed it on the library calendar even, in the community calendar. Yeah, I don't know if they could have put it on the calendar because I don't know that they had an, an exact date that they knew that it was going to be posted. It wasn't like people were attending it and so that you would register and do that kind of thing. It was it was posted after the fact. Yeah. Oh, so they so they're running it more like an on demand program than a, yeah. a live stream. Right. OK. Which okay, I think now. is what they mentioned at the last meeting, too. Yeah. And we're going to have that ability too, if you, you know, if people are not able. So that, that'll be the post publicity on this. Right. You know, we had this wonderful program. All these people participated, great questions, sharing of solutions. And you, you still have an opportunity by going to the, is, well, we'll have the link on our website as well as on the WCA too. Yeah. yeah. So we'll definitely promote it even more. One question that I had is um, if we're, if people do, if we get a lot of responses of the audience writing back in terms of how to break the bias, mm -hmm. um, if we could save that chat and if there's any follow-up write-up of the event, um, well, yes, depending on how many we get, we don't need to put all of them in, but like we, it, it might, I think it would be nice to just show that the audience was engaged and it, I'm, I'm really excited to see what people's um, responses are. So if Amy could save the chat, if she's the facilitator of the, of the Zoom, that would be great. Maybe there's Definitely. a way for us to take all of them and put them in like a word. A little word Whatever. cloud? Like, yeah, exactly. Mm. That would be kind of cool, right? Mm. Um, oh, yeah. Um, okay. And oh, and Jed McDonald for us established a web page for this event, our event. So because I sent her so much information, she said I set up your, your web page. I I don't usually I thought that I'm supposed to send it to Benny and not send it to Jen directly. I just sent her the flyer type things. So I sent it to Benny, but Benny didn't get to it. So she was asking me. So she just, she set it up for us, which is great. Can you give me some guidance on that? Is it, are we, are we supposed to funnel things to one person? When you say on, so the, on the web page, do you mean on Facebook? Mm -mm. The um the town web page for the um WHC. Oh, oh, got it. Because Jen is in charge of that. Am I supposed to? Are all of us supposed to funnel it through one person, or do we communicate? I think that that's something that we we need to kind of clarify because I I sent it like I said I sent it to Benny. I didn't go directly to Jen, and it wasn't until you know I I wanted to get things in the kiosk, the graphic things that I was communicating with Jen, which is different than the web page. She said, you know, are you going to send me material for the web page? And I said, oh, I sent it to Benny. I said, then I sent it to her too. And she said that. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't think that we need, I think you can CC Benny on, mm -hmm. on things. Um, but yeah, I, I, and I think Benny has, you know, as chair, she has enough responsibilities going on to not, I, I wouldn't want to add more responsibilities to her plate. So I would just CC her if there's something that you think that she, she should be aware of. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't want to duplicate. Right. That was the whole thing. I just didn't want to duplicate. Yeah. And, you know, and doing the press stuff is like second nature to me because that's part of what I do. I've always right. done the marketing. So I see it out on it. the web page too, and it looks it looks great, Sherry. Oh, the colorful flyer is up, or no, just the the introduction of it. Ah, okay, okay. But the flyer looks really cool. It's very colorful. It's not like I'll fancy fancy that. layout, but it's a it's because you know five minute layout is. Uh, <laughs> and then then I left out an a uh, a, so it was like instead of. A special event. I left out the uh, and I went back and I had to redo everything and we sent it. Only you'll see that. You will be the only one that will see that. Actually, Jen's 
Jen saw it and I found out she has the same software I have, the whole into the, the whole Adobe Suite, Creative Suite. She said I was able to fix it because she had that. Because I sent her um, this whole packaged file with all the links and everything else in it. So she was able to do that. Yeah, we have some invaluable talent in um, Jen McDonald and also in Jackie Power in, in terms of helping us promote things. Cool. So what else do we need to accomplish right now? We're very good at having very structured and tightly run meetings. So we're not <laughs> on the phone too long or on the Zoom too long. So everyone is going to send me um, the email addresses for the panelists, and I'm going to get them to Amy. I'm also going to just talk to Amy about the chat piece and whether is that something she'll do? Is that something that she mm. wants me to do? I'm happy to do it. Whatever will work for her. Um, and by the chat piece, just the questions at the end, like when people ask questions, is that something that Mary is going to, oh. that it's tricky to like, unless you have two screens, sometimes it's hard to like see the chat and continue to interact with people. Yeah, it can, that can be stress inducing. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So I'm, yeah. I'm happy to read them or prompt whomever, or maybe maybe it's more Amy. Maybe that's something that they typically do. And so mm -hmm. they've well, got a whole plan. She, she can include you as one of the speakers without showing you. So that exactly, you can come and in I'll just end. go, right. Yeah, I'll shut off my my camera and my mic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's our two group thing. Okay. Um, Great. That looks good. Okay. And I will show you the in touch with Marie about questions. Format. Okay. We've got everything accomplished that we need to accomplish. Yeah. Great. This is great. Do we want to have another meeting on the calendar to just check in? That would be great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we, yeah, we want to make sure that we have everything. Yep. Um, let's see, next, oh, it's, it's already, already March. Oh my goodness. Oh. Do you want to do next Tuesday or Thursday? Either one's fine with you. No, I actually Maybe. can't do Thursday, so I could do, yeah. Why don't we, yeah, why don't we make it a little earlier in the week, just in case we have more things to resolve? Okay, yeah, I could do Tuesday or Wednesday that week. Okay, I could do Tuesday or Wednesday also. Tuesday would be Tuesday. great. Tuesday, Ellen? Tuesday. Yeah, is that the first? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. So Maria will set up. Um, okay, I'll do that. Um, Maria will schedule our next meeting. Dalton. I will email her tonight so I don't forget it like last time. <laughs> and I've done that too. It's. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because in your head, you're like, it's just a Zoom link, right? Yeah. But it's not, it's obviously. Not, right? <laughs> yeah, and because- I've done it too, where I'm like, wait, what? Wait, yeah, no, I have to send that three days ahead. Right. Well, this morning, I was supposed to be at a Zoom meeting. And I looked, I said, oh my God, I never responded and I didn't get the link. So I had to call someone three minutes before the meeting and get my links so I can be part of the meeting. At eight thirty in the morning, you know, I, just, I it I had it on my calendar. I had saved the initial announcement, but I never clicked. Yes, I'm coming. Oh. So no. Okay. Someday we'll get back to meeting in person. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. And and well, even when you meet in person, though, um, for with HRC. Do you still have to do these three-day in advance notifications? Yeah. 
it's, it's well they really still have to be recorded yeah um, um i don't yeah. know in terms of like post covid because prior prior to the shutdown it was just school committee and town council meetings mm -hmm. that were recorded and everyone else was obviously required to give the the 42 48 um add-on like really 96 hours notice um and then post the minutes um but i don't know i think so many people have had so much more increased access to meetings that i don't know that anyone would really want to go back to that um so i don't know I'm, I'm curious i know that a lot of the technology to make it hybrid that people can participate over zoom and in person i think that depending on the town body depending on dep i think it depends on a lot of things i think it's very complicated to set up yes, I know the library thought that they could and they even got a great new camera and then they realized it was impossible to have a quality meeting Right. Um, so people that just when people were in the room, and I know I do this with one of my boards. The president actually bought a camera and, and everything, and so that people who won't, because people come in from a lot of different places for the board, and but it's, it's and I've it's, I've been on Zoom instead of in person at one of those meetings, and it was you couldn't participate. You might as well just be on a phone line. There was no point in having a screen. Yeah. It was just no fun. so tricky now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to, like you said, have a really good videographer, a really good cameraman. It can't just be, you know, that you have a civilian camera. It has to be something a little more substantial. But the library thought they had that, and then our book group, they just couldn't do it. They thought they could do a hybrid, and they couldn't do it. Huh. So I'm hoping next month we get to meet live again. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we all have our things to do, and I am going to write this up. Eileen, would it be easier for you if I don't attach the minutes? I just, I mean, do both. Put it in the email. It's not in the email. too long. I'll just no, attach it. Okay. You don't change your approach. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean up I'll, the notes. I'll figure it out, Sherry. It's okay. I think, yeah. Sherry, at one point, I was on, like, Benny and I were exchanging stuff for the land acknowledgement, and then we had this, and then we had the other. I was like, I have that is not a good idea. That's yeah. many, and yeah. this is kind of a crazy time of year for me for work. So yeah. I'll figure it out. Thank no, you, Terry. No, I appreciate. No, that. I understand because I'm working on language of diversity with Daniela as well. Yeah, it's and a lot. we're trying to plan. Stuff. We're trying to plan postings that will be months in advance. Right. Trying to gather information and postings. And and I'm doing you know, I'm I'm pretty organized, so it's not as hard for me. Oh, my PC is saying you want to plug in because my battery is low. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, one quick question. I guess that's our cue. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, do we want to? Sorry, seven or seven thirty next week. Uh, um, could we do seven? Is that all right? Sure. Yep. I just wanted to make sure that's fine with me. Is that okay, Sherry? Did she freeze? I wonder if it died. No, oh, no. All right. We could message her and find that out, right? No. Oh. Sorry, that's my phone. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that was maybe Sherry. <laughs> no. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I didn't recognize the number. So, um, okay. Yeah. We'll message her afterwards and, um, I'll just double check that, that seven is okay. Yeah. And, um, and then we'll go from there. Cool. Good All to right. see you. Nice Thank to you. see you. Have a good night.